Hey guys, welcome to this video. Did a stream earlier, but I didn't cover the NASDAQ. I normally don't do videos on the NASDAQ, um, but I am going to do it today because I know there are some NASDAQ traders out there and there's some good technical aspects we can look at on the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ 100 uh, E-mini futures market, where are we at? Well, of course, obviously it looks very similar to the S&P uh, US market, uh, but what you saw relatively recently, if I drop it to the daily, is that little hit up here okay followed by immediate rejection okay so that rejection came off support levels more or less there okay so former levels we've not seen for a while and um, they're minor levels really if you look in there you can just about see them um and the same here okay so price really early rejection now that says something to us it basically says okay well there wasn't a force pulling this down rapidly therefore then the, the, it doesn't really have extreme negative market sentiment now if i flick up to the weekly we can start to open our eyes up to more valid short zones now given that you had this previous candle here it didn't quite get up to this candle wick this represents a reshort okay so I wouldn't be surprised as well because the price hardly fell at all. There's still impetus there. I wouldn't be surprised if you get up to that 13K, um, just shy of 13,100 level. That is going to represent uh, SZ1, okay, or short zone one, um, like this. That is short zone one. Now, if you look higher up, okay, you can see various levels after that. So there's one there. Okay, and there's also one here. And then higher up, there's one there. So you're just looking to scale in and out of the market. Now, because this one's quite close to that one, I would drop your size a bit. I wouldn't trade the full size that you would you would normally, because otherwise you're going to bunch your trades up way too tight. And when you do that, you get very rapidly exposed in the market. And you can see we get the short zone three here and eventually short zone four so that represents really going through levels and scaling in with dca remember when we trade we're not looking for one point only it's going to be several points as price rises okay it's not just one it's several points if it were one you'd have to be a sniper you'd have to be mega accurate and you would have to nail it every single time because you've got no leeway Okay, at that point, you've got no leeway. Now, just checking on this on the monthly, you can see these former candle wicks really are representing your levels that we just looked at. It's much easier to see things, guys, if you put your time frames up. Um, and it's just because the market gets more condensed. There's less candles, and the key areas that you need to look at are there visibly to see. Now, on the downside, anything lower, okay, I can look lightly long because we've seen previous price action occur there. Okay, where I'm drawing this bubble. But at the moment, we're a little bit far off that. Absolutely risk averse. If in extreme cases, we do get lower here. You know, we can talk about that if and when we get to that point. Um, but that would be another long zone. So really, anything lower, okay, you can lightly long it. There are levels before then. Okay, if I just get rid of uh, those bubbles. There are levels before then, okay, if you're going to look long on the nearer term and you're not a long-term investor and you're not interested in those levels I just said, you have got fairly early daily support there, okay, and that comes as you reach your early MA. So it's not great risk, okay, bit iffy for the amount of size you want to put in. You don't want to go mad on that. Just get yourself around these key MAs because they're representing where price is true where price is more feasible to the long side. At the moment, it's not because you've already had the move. You would be late. Look at your stochastic oscillator. It's already flown way up. Okay, so that indicates, okay, well, we've come up fine. Not a big drop. Probably beat the high again before you get hit away with anything reasonably uh, significant. So that's a rundown on the NASDAQ 100 E-mini futures. Nice five-minute quick thing. Higher up, we're looking short. Uh, lower down, probably near your 12.3. Um, it's going to be scaled in light long. So don't go mad, just light longs. Um, and lower down, the same. Okay, light longs. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope that really helped. Go under this video for more free stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. See you there.